So, um, so it's, um, now at the at the moment in uh, in France, we can be considered as the the leader in Europe about conservation agriculture. So, um, which is a minimum or a minimum or no tillage, and we try to get a permanent cover crop, and we use a, a smart rotation. In France, currently we have one third of the land that is not plowed. Uh, but if we look at um, how people, uh, which people are doing it, uh, maybe ten percent of the farmers are, are just uh, followers. They just do it because the neighbors do. Uh, some others do it strictly for economical reason, and uh, some others because they are they are really passionate about it. And uh, the main thing is for um, soil conservation or I should say regeneration, but it, it takes time and, and uh, commitment. It's not a, an, easy, an, e an easy path. And so um, we, we needed to, to uh, set up um, an association or a network. So base means biodiversity, agriculture, soil and environment, <coughs> just, the, just the name of the association. Uh, it's been created in 2005 roughly with uh, very few people at the start. Um, the particularity is that it's uh, funded only by the member fee and uh, so in the board of the association it's only either farmers or people from the industry that comes as volunteers. Uh, we have now 900 members so basically it's been growing steadily over the years. That's uh, 40,000 hectares impacted and uh, to say it simply, it's really just a network and just a place to meet and to learn about everything about this uh, idea of uh, conservation agriculture. So now we have a base agroforestry, we have a base uh, grazing, it's just, just new, and base organics. So everybody is still together, but if somebody has a specific um, um, topic, then we have different some uh, organic farmers because it's it was it's easy to talk together because basically we're just using different tools but the objective is the same and uh, so there was really was a need and there is still a need to put uh, people in a network in this in this id um, that needs to be independent because years ago there was uh, an association for um, um, to promote the sustainable agriculture, but there were people from uh, the big industry that were funding it, and so uh, it wasn't totally independent. So get rid of these people and we start something new. And we need, people, farmers really need to get uh, help to go forward. So uh, the more people and the more tolerant we are, then we have more ideas, more solutions, but also sometimes uh, more problems or new ideas. And uh, so basically, what do we do during the year? Every year we have a uh, general assembly in the, at the beginning of the year, which we gather around 300 people last year. Uh, it's based on a member fee of uh, 40 euro, so it's uh, not a lot. And uh, there, there are as many meetings as uh, farmer wants. So if uh, somebody said, oh, I met a very smart uh, British organic farmer, and I'd like to him to come to my farm, um, the board would say, oh, that's very smart, but I know some people in another place that would like to meet him as well. So uh, every time the speaker would do uh, three or five stops everywhere. And we try to do that under any condition, because uh, <laughs> as it's uh, passion driving, and even in the snow, it, it works. So this was just to show uh, quickly the number of uh, members going up and up. Um, yes, more members always mean more brains. <laughs> and even English ones. Because <laughs> 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 now we have a base UK that has been created maybe two years ago now. Uh, so they have their own way of um, managing their association. It's just that they uh, we can exchange each other. It's really, really nice. And uh, I don't know, maybe this would also spread to Belgium or to uh, uh, French speaking Switzerland. Uh, well, sorry, just uh, changed the way uh, the words here, but uh, just wanted to say.
said as some strength and weakness of the association. The very nice point we have is the, our total independence. So if tomorrow uh, we want to talk more about organic, well, there is uh, nothing that, uh, uh, that can stop us. Or if we want to talk more about raising about almost any topic, we are free. Because it's member-driven. So if some members are interested in, in one specific topic, then we make it happen. It's very economically light. It means that if uh, one year we don't have uh, much new members, there's not a problem. Because the member fee is basically here to pay for a, a part-time secretary. And then um, each, each meeting is just funded by the, the, uh, the fee for the meeting. You know, there is no uh, money driven from one meeting to the other. Um, and now over the years we've welcomed really uh, tons of specialists from South America, Australia, North America, uh, all the big guys, I would say, uh, came to us, so now we're really connected. Um, and one very good thing is that because we've never said that we want to promote uh, no-till, for example, we've always said that we want to promote um, um, the, the, what we call the alive soil. It means that any uh, good idea that goes toward it is welcome. And on the weakness, it means it's, uh, it's not a lobby. It's not in our uh, goal to be a lobby and to really uh, push conservation agriculture among our uh, politics, for example. So some members would like to, but we just decided it's not a goal. So there are other people doing it. Um, now that we have a lot of members, and so uh, more <coughs> meetings to organize, because it's uh, fully, it fully relies on volunteers, then we needed some extra hand to organize all that, all the logistics and stuff. So now we are, we just started a partnership with uh, somebody that can do that. So it's her work, but she, uh, we would not pay her to organize it. She would just organize it in a way we get uh, extra fund that pays her work. And, uh, Something else is also that uh, for most farmer and um, typical organization, we are hard to define. Because we go in every direction. So if for a new uh, farmer that's just interested and wants to know what we do in base, when we do so many things, sometimes they don't really know if they are really interested in being a member or not. That's maybe one week from here. But over the years, thanks to our uh, openness, I say, we were able, able to have a big impact on the farms. And uh, the guy you see here with the shovel, he's our um, Minister of uh, Agriculture. And he's been following what we are doing since uh, uh, numbers of years. And now he's promoting agroecology at a political level. So even though we were not pushing for it, it just happened. So it's uh, something, uh, something really nice, and it will have a lot of impact on the on the, on the school, for example. So which is also good to uh, promote uh, soil regeneration to the next generation.